This is the new Inspire 3D scanner from Revo Point. Here I am just doing a quick unboxing. Calibration board. This is a top for the turntable with marker dots on it. More marker dots and a special cover so you can put on your table for markers based scanning. Comes with various leads and USB C adapters. Turntable and a lead for the turntable. Neat little lightweight tripod which acts as a handle. And there's the uh, Inspire scanner itself. Very, very small, very lightweight, very neat. Certainly very portable. It's plastic but it has a nice quality feel about it. It's got the start button on the back so you don't necessarily have to start it from the screen you're looking at. The tripod has got a telescopic height adjustment on it. Very useful for getting those different scanning angles. USB-C type connector with a securing screw underneath there just to stop it pulling out. Nice quality lead. And there's the USB-C adapter is very useful for me as I've got a MacBook which doesn't have an ordinary USB port on it I'm going to start off by scanning this well-known character from a Galactic Battles movie I'm going to spray him with some matte blime scanning spray this spray leaves them sort of a matte frosty white and it gradually sort of uh, evaporates over a period of a day or so. Here he is, looking all white, which is perfect for scanning. And we've opened the Revo Scan 5 software. This was actually done on a previous version of the software. An update came through which uh, greatly changed the performance of this scanner but it still did a really good job on this. This was the first scan I did. It shows you how near or how far away you are, giving you the ideal distance. And the turntable gradually revolves around. I did it at various angles and heights. Picked up the table here a bit. I've speeded this up a little bit. And then uh, you merge the various scans and mesh them. And this is what I ended up with. Here it is in Mesh Mixer. And it's actually very, very good because I don't think this scanner was really designed for doing small objects like this. But I got a good result. Here we are trying to do a bit of uh, self scanning here really tricky to do trying to keep my head still trying to keep an eye on the uh, MacBook screen controlling the scanner it took a lot of attempts here's some uh, screenshots of scanning in action now yeah, it took quite a few attempts for me to get a good result it would have been a lot easier if someone else could have scanned me for myself, um, but there was no one available. I went back and redid it as well uh, eventually because um, I'd updated the software and it made it all a lot, lot easier. But having done it several times, I uh, eventually got the hang of it. You can see if you lose tracking it goes red and you have to go back to a piece of your face that it recognises and then start again moving away from that area so it picks up the tracking and starts scanning again. I selected the best scan of all of them. You can combine scans as well, you can merge them but I only needed the face for the project I was doing. And there's a one-click editing function on the Revo Scan software, which is absolutely brilliant. 
You can see it really produced a very good scan. I was really impressed with that. For some of the scans I used manual editing. But here it is in Mesh Mixer. Really pleased with that scan. Very, very good quality. Now some years ago I posted this little uh, cartoon I'd done of myself on Instagram. So I thought I'd try and make it in 3D. So here I am in Nomad Sculpt on my iPad. And I've got the scan of my face and the scan of the uh, well-known Galactic Battles character. And I've combined the two to make Jimson the Shed. Here we are in G2 box. I've hollowed it, added some drain holes. And then we uh, add support, slice it, ready for printing in resin. Then I thought I'd scan this uh, anatomy skull. It's a plastic replica of a human skull, which uh, I've used quite a bit in various projects. And it's a good test of a scanner, really. So I'm using the turntable. Once I'd sussed out which settings worked, uh, it all came out much better. You select large object and standard accuracy. And I was getting some very nice quality scans, as you can see here. It kept tracking really well. Very, very good. I'm scanning it at various heights and angles. But you can see how it's picking everything up without any glitches. You have to get the lighting right in the room. I was having trouble to start with because there was too much light coming in from a nearby window. Well, there's the top part of the skull done. I'm then scanning at a lower angle. And rather than adding to existing scans, I'm doing these as separate scans and I merge them at the end. So gradually I'm capturing the whole skull, the cranium and the mandible. You could separate the two halves of the skull and scan them separately. Speeded it up a little bit here. Before being able to merge the scans, you have to fuse the point clouds for each scan. So I'm going, I have to go through each scan and fuse the point cloud in it. Once I've done this, I can then go into the merging process. You select which of the scans you want to merge. To start with, I just merged all five scans at once. And it actually produced a pretty good result, although there are, you could see a few lines. So I went back and I uh, merged them two at a time. You see, this is with them all merged at once. And then it processes them to produce the final mesh. And it's really good. I was really very impressed with how it captured this skull. Captured a lot of the angles and the details. Really, really good. So here I am scanning my daughter. Quite tricky to do, takes a lot of practice, but I got some good results in the end. We made a few changes to hairstyle and things as I went on and I got better at it, but you do have to practice and experiment. So it was uh, really interesting to do. You just have to keep it moving, keep the scanner moving without it losing track. If you lose track, you have to go back to a, an area where it recognises and start again. It does require a lot of patience, both on the part of the scanner and the scanee. Poor little thing was getting a bit fed up by the end of it. She doesn't look very happy, but uh, 
it's easier to keep the same facial expression if you have a bit of a glum face. If you try and maintain a smile, you'll have a job to maintain that smile in exactly the same place and keep still the whole time. Did quite a few different scans. This was uh, one of them. That's the point cloud. Doesn't look much at this stage. I haven't scanned the back of her properly here. And here I'm going to use the one click editing again. And this does a really good job. I've sped up the processing time a little bit, otherwise it'd make it a little bit tedious watching the video, but it didn't take long at all. The software is remarkably quick. But that came out really well. It's a really good scan of her face. But like I say, we did make some changes in the end. I used some dry shampoo spray on her hair to make it a little bit white. And here we go. As you can see, the different hairstyle. Mounted on a plinth like one of these uh, classical busts. This was I did in Shape of 3D, which is a piece of software I love for 3D design. And there it is, into Cheetu Box, ready for slicing and printing in resin. Here's the finished print. This is the optional Revo Point mobile kit. This doesn't come as standard with the Inspire scanner. What it is, is a holder for your phone and uh, and it holds the scanner on the top and it's got a lithium battery pack in the handle to power the scanner. With the iPhone, it's linked uh, to the scanner via Wi-Fi. Here I'm scanning our staffy using the app on my iPhone. And this uh, came out remarkably well. You import the scan directly from the iPhone to your PC or Mac. It goes from one app to the other. If she'd been sitting in a more open place, I could have done an all-round scan of her. But these are two scans I did. And I was really impressed that it managed to pick her up because she's very dark and shiny. Here I'm just uh, removing some of the isolated islands that you get from surrounding structures. There it is. Many thanks Revo Point for sending me their latest 3D scanner. This is the Revo Point Inspire. Very small, very neat, very lightweight and very easy to use. I've really enjoyed using this. If I've uh, got this video published in time, this should be going live on Kickstarter right now. I don't know what the uh, price will be at this point, but I know Revo Point are really aiming this at the consumer market and it's going to be very competitively priced. I've certainly had good fun using it. it always takes a bit of experimentation when using scanners, 3D scanners. They, there is a real knack to using them. They do take practice. They do take experimentation. If you're not someone who's willing to uh, persevere with things, then don't get a 3D scanner because they do take a little bit of work. Although I have to say, this one has really performed really, really well. It scanned my dog, who's very dark and silky, which I was quite surprised it managed to, to scan her. Uh, certainly did. Make sure you've downloaded the latest version of Revo Scan 5 to uh, get the full benefit of this. Uh, make sure you have it on the correct settings, object or body, uh, and standard accuracy for static objects and the high speed frame rate for um, animals and people. But yeah, really, really good. Now, I'll put links in the description to Kickstarter and you can find this on there and uh, 
and you can back it if you like. Obviously, Kickstarter, there is risk involved, uh, but Revo Point have got a very good reputation with regards to their Kickstarter products. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it and fun printing out things. So uh, there we go. I'll be back soon with some more videos. Many thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And as I say, don't forget to check out the links in the, in the video description. Here's a few stills of what I've been up to. And as I said, I'll be back soon with some more videos. More rubbish coming soon.